You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone, I'm working to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, our Lord. May all hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image of living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, Meek and humble you down on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus. We do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise, for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you, day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. Many of our brothers and sisters are in prison in places such as China. North Korea. Many of them are being threatened with beheadings and being killed in places such as the Middle East. Let us lift up our brothers and sisters in prayer. Lord, we pray that you send your Holy Spirit to descend upon all brothers and sisters. That you may shield them from all attacks of the enemy. That you may protect them and cover them with the mantle of the Holy Spirit. Fill their hearts with hope. Fill their hearts with contentment. Grant them the ability to be courageous and fill their hearts with love, a love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. And for those who persecute them, O oh Lord, those who choose to be their enemies and your enemy, we pray that you have mercy on them and touch their hearts with your gentle hands. And mold their hearts in such a way that they may open their eyes and see you. And upon seeing you, that they may receive you and become your followers. And Lord, we pray for all bishops. Especially we pray for Archbishop Ross and Bishop Hampton. We pray for all apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father... We pray for 
rejoice. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy and joy and strengthen her in all goodness. Protect her from all harm and from all evil. We pray for M. We pray for happiness in M's life. Fill her heart completely with your love. Help her get her finances back on track. And help her get a good review on her work and a pay raise. We also pray for Alex. That if possible, M will be able to hear back from Alex and perhaps see him someday. She also asked us to pray that Alex may receive peace and happiness in his life. And we pray that M may become a blessing to others and that she spread sunshine wherever she goes. We pray for Evelyn. Please pray, brothers and sisters, for her marriage. Lord, we pray that the marriage between Evelyn and Eric may be restored that the communication between them is restored and that her husband will be delivered from adultery and that he will return home soon to, and that his heart may be softened. Lord, we pray that you lift up Evelyn so that she can forgive him completely and so that she can let go and let you handle things for her that she may be able to remain patient. We also pray, Lord, that she will be rid of her fear, her sadness, her loneliness, her anxiety, and her anger. We pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, Multiple sclerosis, in particular Antonio, who is right now taking a trip to Puerto Rico to see his mother, who is um, elderly and not doing so well. And uh, the entire family, the Perez family, is is, is struggling with this. Uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of uh, stress uh, among all the brothers and sisters of Antonio. I pray, Lord, that you, let, you, you fill Antonio with your love, with your compassion and mercy, and with your strength, so that as the elder brother in the household, he may be able to bring peace about, so that all the brothers and sisters may be able to, to manage their situation and their, their difficult time. Um, we pray, Lord, that for Antonio's wife, that she may uh, remain calm and, and, and allow the brothers and sisters deal with each other. Um, for after all, brothers and sisters may quarrel. Brothers and sisters may have difficult times, but in the end, they will remain brothers and sisters. And rather than getting involved with, with that situation in a way that may damage her relationship to her her in-laws is better that she be able to remain calm and out of the picture and just be there to support her husband Antonio we pray for those with diabetes especially Evelia we pray for those with autoimmune diseases mental health problems drug addiction and all those who suffer from any other form of addiction. And Lord, we pray for grieving families, especially the families of uh, Brown, Michael Brown, who will be laid to rest today in Ferguson. Um, a lot of stress and a lot of controversy around this shooting dead. But the most important thing is that your Holy Spirit be upon those parents who must be suffering tremendously because they lost their child. Have mercy on them, Jesus. 
and strengthen them in all goodness and bless them, O Lord, and help them heal from this horrendous, difficult experience which they have had to endure. We pray for those who are homeless. We pray for the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And Heavenly Father, we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, but more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, Many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon your servants. Gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. 
I fear all from